we found that Gale is such a versatile tool that there isn't one correct way of using it. It's really what you're comfortable with, what you want to use it for. Let's talk use case for a minute, because I mean, there's a lot of different ways this whole thing can go as the product evolves. What I've heard, and please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but basically what I have heard from my friends who have have used the product, and, and I've not had a direct conversation, just watching conversations as they're posted online, um, is it seems like they're using using it to be a virtual receptionist or a triage for calls that are coming in. Um, I'm wondering if down the road, and I realize there's some legal loophole, like legal hurdles that would have to be jumped yep. over, but is this something that could be programmed to end up being a prospecting tool at some point for warm transfers on personal lines calls or even appointment scheduling down the road for commercial appointments? Sure. So um, to answer the broader question, like use cases, right? We found that Gale is such a versatile tool that there isn't one correct way of using it. It's really what you're comfortable with, what you want to use it for. So for example, we have people that, yeah, they use it as like their first line of defense. Gail answers and fields all of their calls and uh, directs them to the department that they need to go to, if they even need to go to any department. We've actually had some of our customers um, where a person calls back into the agency and asks for John. And they're like, we don't have a John here. What are you talking about? And the person wanted to talk to Gail again. Um, they thought that that was like an actual person that they were talking uh -huh. to. So that's one. Um, then we were talking earlier about the after hours or on the weekends. I think that that's the perfect way to, you know, to start learning about this tool. If it was calls you were going to miss anyway, might as well, you know, capture a little bit of information, make sure that that customer feels heard. Um, you know, the it, I'm not going to say that it's going to ensure uh, that you close them as a customer, but it's definitely going to increase your chances that that person stops shopping around because they're expecting a follow up on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, so the that that's on the inbound side, um, on the outbound side, um, you know, we, we, we do have uh, outbound capabilities for Gale. And like you said, there are legal loopholes uh, or like legal restrictions that we have there. Um, but for one that I love, for example, you know, I live here in Miami, Florida, uh, and we, we're just getting into hurricane season right now. I can actually hear. We're, we're in Tampa, brother. We know exactly uh, okay. what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So imagine, you know, being able to, a hurricane is coming up. It's going to hit in three days being able to call all of your customers in the potentially affected area and tell them like, Hey, I just want to make sure that you, you know, your assets are safe. Your cars are, are under a roof, make sure that your windows are boarded up. And, 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 um, you know, we love to hear from you, but we don't want to hear from you in the next five days. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being able to give that additional piece of customer support. Um, sure. You're not going to see an immediate return on investment in that, but that customer is going to appreciate that. And they're going to remember that you thought of them, even if it was an automated call that you thought of them and, and that you sent out that, that message to, to make sure that they were safe. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it comes to a, to a point where you're focusing more on preparing and preventing rather than, you know, having to struggle to take in all of these claims. Um, So, so that's an, like an example of uh uh, outbound support. And then of course, I'm, I'm sure you guys have lived through this as well. Renewals. Um, let's say that, you know, their homeowner's renewal is coming up in 60 days and they just want to confirm that their mortgage information is up to date. That's a tedious task. Uh, that, I, I mean, I can see myself getting burnt out doing that really quick. Right. Um, but it doesn't take a tremendous amount of skill. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's another like potential use case there. And then for outbound prospecting, um, the important thing there is that a customer or let's say a lead needs to have opted in to receive communications. 
Um, once they have opted in, you can give them a call. And we've had one agency in particular that uh, they've told us that their problem is no longer getting in touch with their leads, is getting them quoted quick enough. Wow. Uh, there you go. That, that's a great problem to have in my book. Yeah. You know? Um. So. Well, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff too, man. Like one of the things we struggle with, and I'm 100% honest in all that I do, Mm -hmm. is life insurance. Like we don't do a good job of talking to our, our clients about life insurance and there's not a good reason for it, but we could use a, a tool like this is assuming opt-ins have happened to create a campaign around, which by the way, everybody has opted in that's in our CRM. That's how they get in there. But exactly. you know, um, we could create a campaign around that. God only knows how much life insurance opportunity we would generate from that. And, and and creating that campaign maybe takes you 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And then once that campaign is created, all calls happen. You can run around 100 calls in 10 minutes. Wow. So one day, Jeez. like maybe an hour of work gets you through what it would have otherwise taken you maybe two or three days. If you're just really dialed in. Calling, yeah, maybe maybe you know? more. Exactly. So again, we, 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 we come full circle and to, to the point of like what we're doing here is we're giving you back the most valuable resource of all, which is time.